Well, folks, we're into some deep cover-up territory here right now with FBI Director Christopher Wray, you know, the mastermind of the cover-up, testifying in the last 24 hours and claiming that they found eight cartridges on the roof next to the supposed shooter, Crooks. Now, a cartridge, it's just, we have to go over some uh, basic terminology here. A cartridge is a complete round of ammunition, which consists of a piece of brass, the primer at one end of the brass, uh, gunpowder inside the brass, which is sometimes called the brass casing, as well as the bullet, which is at the opposite end as the primer, and the neck of the brass is sort of crimped around the bullet, okay? So all that together, the primer, the brass, the gunpowder, and the bullet, that's called a cartridge. So if he's saying that they found eight cartridges on the roof, then what he's saying is they found eight rounds of unused ammo, unexpended, off-the-shelf ammo on the roof. So if they found eight rounds that have not been fired on the roof, who, who fired the eight shots? Now, remember, there are 10 shots total that we can hear in the multiple audio files now. I originally thought that was only nine or even eight but now with multiple files and multi-track stacking, we can hear 10 rounds, okay? Uh, we believe that the Counter Sniper Secret Service team fired round number 10. We suspect that a Pennsylvania law enforcement person fired round number nine, although we can't prove that yet. And we think that somebody else fired rounds one through eight, maybe crooks, maybe not, maybe, Maybe Crooks fired three rounds and somebody else fired five. We don't know yet. But for the FBI to say, oh, we found eight cartridges on the roof, that's just like, what are you, what are you talking about? So it, it begs the question, where's the brass? Where's the brass from the spent rounds? Uh, apparently, they haven't found any brass. They found cartridges. Now, then during this hearing, Ray is asked, so do you believe that Crooks fired eight rounds? And he says, yes, we think Crooks fired eight rounds. You know, we're still investigating. We can't be 100%. But basically, from what we know so far, we think Crooks fired eight rounds because we found eight cartridges. <laughs> it's like, uh, okay, now you're talking in circles. You don't even know what you're talking about. And then he was asked, do the cartridges match the rifle? Oh my God, I can hear all of you who, who actually own rifles and who know about rifles. I can hear all of you just screaming and pulling your hair out right now because you know, as well as I know, that cartridges cannot be matched to a rifle. That's, there, there is no such thing. You can't, you can't put cartridges through a rifle, fire them off, eject the brass, collect the brass, and then determine that that brass came from that rifle. That doesn't exist. Now, in the FBI, there are ballistics experts who claim that a bullet can be matched to a barrel. And that's widely believed across forensics. However, it turns out that's also false. That's complete nonsense, just pseudoscience quackery, kind of like PCR tests. You actually can't match bullets to barrels. Not in handguns, not in rifles, none of that. So that, that's all BS. But let's assume that you could. Even then, you can't match brass to rifles. So in other words, if, if I go to an AR-15 training event, and I've got you know 12 students beside me, and we're all shooting at paper targets uh, as part of a class, we're going to go through a lot of rounds. There's going to be brass all over the place. Now, after the class, could a forensic expert go through and pick up all the brass and then using microscopy or some magic voodoo method that we don't know about, could they assign which brass belonged to which rifle? And the answer is no. No, that doesn't exist. There is no such. There's not even any claim that that exists. Nobody claims that that's possible. Except FBI Director Ray. <laughs> He, he claims that the brass was matched to the rifle, and that's impossible. Again, that does not exist. You know, just to be clear, that does not exist. Now, 
if he's claiming that the bullets were matched to the rifle, then he would be implying that the bullets have been recovered. But I've heard no such claim from the FBI. Have you? Have you heard anybody say they recovered the bullets? No. And I've been paying attention. I haven't heard that. Then the question would be, well, how many bullets did you recover? Right? How many bullets? If they said, well, we also recovered eight bullets, and if they actually use the term bullets, well, that would be different, but nobody's saying that. They're saying they found eight cartridges. Now, also, you're hearing this term shells thrown around a lot as if they found eight shells on the roof. And again, it's for those of you who are familiar with firearms, you're pulling your hair out and screaming. It's like, no, 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 no. These are not shells, okay? Shells, that's from shotgun rounds. When you fire off a shotgun, you have shotgun shells. And shells are made of plastic. And then, you know, on one end, they've got some amount of brass with a primer in it, but the rest of it is a polymer that holds the shotgun ammo, which could be a slug, could be you know, a combination of ball ammo or birdshot or buckshot, whatever. That's a shell. You say, well, they found eight shells. Uh, so is there a shotgun somewhere nearby? Because that's what shells belong with. You know, it's amazing to me to hear the FBI claiming that they're conducting an investigation when they don't even know basic terminology of firearms. They don't know what a cartridge is. They don't know what a shell is. They probably don't know what brass is. You know, they don't know what bullets are. But they do know how to bury evidence, though. They, they know how to cover things up and cleanse the crime scene because they were up on the roof, the super slopey, slopey roof with a water hose, hosing it down, making sure that all remaining evidence is destroyed and nobody put any markers there of where the brass was found. Not that I could see. Where's the brass? Wouldn't you want to have the locations noted? Wouldn't that be, you know, maybe relevant to a criminal investigation to say where we recovered the brass? Not that they even know what brass is, but you get my point. You know, same thing with the actual bullets. If they do find the bullets, which is going to take a lot of work, but it's doable. You get enough guys out there with metal detectors, what have you. You just start walking in straight lines, you know, you, you can find the bullets probably. And if they find those bullets, are they going to note where they found them? Or are they just going to like put them in a can and just say, oh, we found them out there, just out there, wherever. <laughs> right? are, are, is this like the Keystone Cops investigation of the attempted assassination of Trump? Because if you were doing a, a legit investigation, you would go out there and you would, you would note the GPS coordinates of every bullet you find, and you'd probably put a flag in the ground right there, and you'd take a photo, and then you would put each bullet into an individual little Ziploc type of bag, and then you would label the bag, and then you would date that. You would say like bullet number one or whatever, GPS coordinates, here's the date, and then the initials of the person who collected the bullet. So you have chain of custody of the evidence. You know where you got it, you know when you found it, you know who touched it, and then you collect all those bullets in all those little baggies, and that would be evidence, right? But we're not getting that. We're, not, we're, we're getting weird lingo from the FBI director saying he found cartridges and shells, uh, none of which I think is true at all. So I don't know what these people are doing, but they're not conducting a legitimate investigation. That much is clear. So stay tuned. We'll bring you more analysis as we learn more. This is obviously an ongoing investigation. There's a massive cover-up underway. You saw that from Secret Service Director Cheadle. You're seeing it now from FBI Director Ray. Uh, none of the official story adds up in any way whatsoever. This is a massive cover-up of an attempted assassination. So do not be deceived. But stay tuned for the truth and for more analysis. You can find me at brighteon.com. I'm also on Rumble. I'm at naturalnews.com. And I'm on X. My username is Health Ranger. Uh, thank you for listening today. God bless you all. Take care. Here's what we've got back in stock right now at healthrangerstore.com. Check it out. 
We've got the toothpaste, the Groovy B brand toothpaste there that everybody loves, and we don't know if we're ever going to get any more because this is the toothpaste that the FDA Office of Importation uh, tried to destroy or tried to get us to destroy it for no reason. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, we had our lawyers talk to them, and then they released it and said, oh, oops, we made a mistake. So now we have Groovy B toothpaste here that is back in stock at the store. Trail mix that people absolutely love. Remember, everything is laboratory tested. Almost all the ingredients we have are certified organic. And we do extensive lab testing, testing for heavy metals and glyphosate and for many of our products, also testing for aflatoxins. For everything, we test for microbiology, E. coli, salmonella, yeast, and mold, and so on. Check out our macaroni and cheese instant meals there. You just boil water, you put in the macaroni, which is made out of quinoa, amaranth, and organic rice, all organic ingredients. It's got a really great texture. And then the cheese powder sauce is with real organic powdered cream, real organic cheddar cheese powder, real organic butter powder, onion powder, and so on. It's the best macaroni and cheese you've ever had. Certainly the healthiest and cleanest. In addition, we've got quercetin supplements and our Seven Treasures Mushroom Blend, which is, of course, a combination of different functional mushrooms, including lion's mane mushroom, which is one of my favorite mushrooms because that's what I use, you know, after I uh, severely lacerated my finger. <laughs> but lion's mane, check out the website, by the way. Here's, a, here's what lion's mane actually looks like growing in the wild. Pretty cool, right? We've got a lot of items here available now in stock, ready to ship out at healthrangerstore.com. And remember that all of your purchases help support this free speech platform to support our interviews, our investigations, and our broadcasts that bring you news and analysis every single day that you just won't find on places like YouTube, which are heavily censored. So thank you for your support. I'm Mike Adams of healthrangerstore.com. Take care. Your own government has the power to activate a kill switch on all telecommunications, instantly shutting down all private phone calls and texts. An EMP weapon or solar flare can achieve the same result. Rolling blackouts or permanent power outages will also take out the power supply to cell tower antennas, rendering mobile devices all but useless. During these emergencies, how do you stay in touch with the important people in your life anywhere on the planet? The answer? is the Bivy Stick at sat123.com. The Bivy Stick is a two-way satellite text messaging device that uses a satellite constellation, not cell towers, to send and receive text messages. It works anywhere on planet Earth, including in war zones or blackout areas. In unpredictable times, the Bivy Stick helps you stay connected when it matters most. Visit sat123.com to get one while they're still available. A global reset is coming, and that's why I've recorded a new nine-hour audiobook. It's called The Global Reset Survival Guide. You can download it for free by subscribing to the naturalnews.com email newsletter, which is also free. I'll describe how the monetary system fails. I also cover emergency medicine and first aid and what to buy to help you avoid infections. So download this guide. It's free. It's my gift to you simply because I want like-minded people to survive. 